All right, sitting right next to the grow tent, we have the the big rig, the 63080Ti. Horrible LHR cards up and running. But yeah, thanks to T-Rex Miner for their LHR unlocker. We are getting, oh, there's 92, a little bit lower. But up here we got 93s. And last night I saw a couple 94s. On average, mega hash on ETH hash right now. And this is 0 0.25.15 of T-Rex Miner running. We got the fan noise in the background, but oh well, we'll just we'll just we'll just uh, we'll just barrel through this. So if you have a rig, I run Windows 10, right, and uh, things are running fine, and all of a sudden I'm starting to get these NVIDIA TDR driver errors, and what that does, it causes Windows to go blue screen, kills kills it, and you would not know this is happening unless you are connected directly into your computer with an HDMI or a display hooked up to your computer. If you only remote into your computers, your rigs, you're not gonna see this. You're just gonna say, hey, the rig the rig died, what happened? And you're not gonna know. So if you are having a rig that is just dropping off, uh, and Windows 10, I can't speak for Hive OS, but in Windows 10, it just keeps dropping off. Put a display on it. I have integrated graphics on the CPU, so I plug a display right into the HDMI port on the motherboard and uh, monitor it. You can use your GPU. You may get a slight hash rate drop having uh, HDI cable plugged directly into one of your GPUs that is mining, but it's not that much. As long as you're not doing graphic intensive stuff, browsing, video watching, game playing, all obvious stuff that's gonna uh, compete for resources on that GPU. So, you know, I'm getting this TDR blue screen past couple days with, you know, six hours apart. What is going on? Nothing's really changed. I'm on two miners, mining ETH. ETH hash getting paid out in yummy Bitcoin because I don't know about ETH, Ethereum, if it's, I don't know. My, I have, it's good for mining right now, but to hold it, I don't know. I'm not feeling good about it once it goes proof of stake. And with all the uh, confusion, it seems, on this development team and all that, I don't know. I'm just going to mine it what I can have two miners pay me out in Bitcoin and call it a day. Uh, and now I'll hold Bitcoin because I think Bitcoin is the king, obviously. And that's what everybody I think should be holding. Don't get wrapped around these altcoins too much, guys, because they went down 85, 90% in the last bear market. So you got to be cautious. Just look at the past performance and, uh, and, and uh, mine and buy wisely, right? Not investment advice, of course, because you got to do your own research. I'm just an idiot sitting next to a grow tent talking about blue screens. <laughs> so anyway, what is TDR? TDR is the NVIDIA timeout detection and recovery. And there's a, I mean, we can go over here and look at this. TDR can be multiple causes that might trigger a video TDR failure issues with your graphics card or other PC parts outdated graphics card driver too many applications running in the background no on all these i checked the driver the driver's the same because you do have to worry that windows will go in and try to update your nvidia driver behind your back and you can disable that and there's a video on how to do that where you can say no windows stop it do not update any drivers unless i do it and approve it so that that is that's rolled out. There's not anything running on this computer other than the uh, T-Rex Miner software and then whatever else Windows has running in the background. You never know. Probably their virus crap, uh, stuff like that, malware detection, whatever. But that's always been there. I've been running stable for a while. So why am I getting these TDRs? I don't know. We can go down through and these people give out their best estimates on what to do to recover. And I'll tell you what I did in a second. Uh, 10 ways to fix TDR in videos. Check your GPU. All right. Yeah, they're fine. Perform startup repair. Eh. Perform SFC scan. I don't even know what that is. Uh, update graphics card drivers. You could. You could use DDU, uh, which is free downloadable, and you boot up in safe mode, remove your drivers that way when you're in safe mode and disconnect from the internet. So as you're removing the... Uh, remnants of an NVIDIA driver and all the driver turds, uh, you won't be uh, fighting Windows, which will try immediately 
upon detecting there's no driver for your card, it will try to install what it thinks is best. And it's not the latest. It's just some weird version they have and they put on your computer. So you got to watch that. That's why DDU, you disconnect from the internet. And boot in safe mode. Uh, change power setting. I run in high performance mode on my, uh, G on my rig. It's Windows 10, like I said. I am not going to disable overclocking number seven. Uh, overheating, yeah, I guess, because these cards have hot memory on two of them. And if you see my other videos on the 3070 Ti where I replaced those crappy thermal pads with a chrome plate. Chrome plate, what am I talking about? Copper plate, oh my God. I used a copper plate about three millimeters thick to cover the, uh, the memory in, in lieu of using those stupid pads and that worked like a charm. Cut the temperatures down by, oh my God, 6 or 40, 45 degrees Celsius. It's unbelievable. Uh, for a day or two, you can feel the thing settling. It's burning a little bit of that, get that copper smell in your, in your lab. And uh, it's kind of interesting. But uh, I made upgrade those two 3080 Ti's with the copper thing. But right now I'm not. So it could have been temperature. I don't think so uh, because they've always been running hot. So I'm, I rolled that out. I noticed also on my uh, rig, it booted up slowly and restarted slowly. I go, what is going on? This is one of my first big rigs I built, and it was a lot of trial and error going on. Let's go over here. This is more exciting. A lot of trial and error going on, and I probably installed a lot of crap. You know, with Windows, you just keep putting stuff on, removing stuff, new drivers, new software, and blah, blah, blah. Over time, it just becomes a mess. Uh, so I figured I'm sick of dealing with this. I don't want to be babysitting these rigs all the time and checking. I said, I know how to do this well. I just m took off the uh, the Kingston SATA drive after I had a blue screen TDR failure. I said, all right, let's just get this done. Let's just try this. Took off the SATA drive, used the Win to USB, and I reformatted the whole drive with a new window ISO image from scratch. Totally reformatted, reformatted wiped the drive using Win to USB, like I said, Took about an hour to do that, get it all installed, uh, plugged it back into the rig. It boots up MSI motherboard, boots up in Windows, fresh start. And uh, I have my whole steps, which I made on what I do to configure my rigs. You know, auto log in, set high performance power settings, display uh, sleep modes, uh, set the virtual memory, which is very important. Otherwise, your machine will crash due to a memory error because these GPUs will take a lot of memory. You need to allocate virtual memory for them. Uh, what else do I do? That's pretty much the bulk of it. Then I will install the driver of choice, the latest NVIDIA driver, which uh, T-Rex recommends. And I did that. You know, like I said, it took, takes an hour, hour and a half to get her all back up and running. And I found by mounting my, my driver, my uh, disk drive on a core server, with Windows uh, shared network, private network, I can just go grab the stuff I need, bring it over instead of fumbling with the USB stick, and uh, I can just access that, those uh, NVIDIA drivers from a central location and the T-Rex miner, stuff like that, and bring it over and install it. So I did that, and this thing has been running uh, 14 hours now. So 15 hours, let's say, let's round up. I like rounding up. Uh, yeah, so being running stable, so I'm thinking I just had a lot of crap on this rig just over time, over the past, what, uh, how many months, eight months, seven months of doing this stuff. Uh, yeah, and I think that might have been an issue. Some other, maybe remnants of other driver, NVIDIA driver parts are there, maybe affecting the registry editor, stuff running in the background. I didn't know about drivers uh, corrupted. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is what works, and I'm sticking to it. All right, yeah, so if you're having issues and your, your rigs are dropping off, you don't know why, and you put a dis uh, display on it, and you do see the TDR failure, uh, yeah, you can fix it just by reinstalling Windows. And it's not that pain. Once you do it, using Windows USB, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you're getting uh, other errors like memory stuff, then your virtual memory is probably off and needs to be upped in Windows, or you're overclocking too high if the, thing, if the cards are crashing. So, yeah, you can check those as well. But if you're getting TDR, I just reinstall Windows and you're good to go. Yeah, that's all I got to say about it. Hope this helps somebody. Uh, if you're going nuts, figure out why your rigs are crashing in Windows, this may help you. All right, I'm out. Talk to y'all later.
Rema. Rema.